Good morning, everyone. We're continuing here in the words of the Chavetz Chaim. When a person speaks, what we call Mesich Lefitum, where they're having like a casual conversation and they innocently share some information of Lashon Hora, whether or not you're actually allowed to believe it. Now, if there are the Varma Nikarim, which means recognizable signs, that means like circumstantial evidence that seem to uh, attest to the fact that that which, for example, Ruvain said about Shimon is true. Shinir al Shema Shemesafim Alav Hu Em. It's like it appears that what Ruvain is saying about Shimon is actually true. Dina The law is as follows. If the report that he hears, even if it's true, you can still judge Shimon favorably. Or if you heard not nice things about him, shortcomings and the like. Like we said above, if there's always a way that you can judge Shimon favorably, whether it's about his actions or his shortcomings or his bad midas or the like. So then says the Gemara, it's never considered, it's never considered to be a case where it's Dvarma Nikarim, where you can say that it's circumstantial evidence. The Vadai on Mikhyovim Ladun Khafskos certainly were obligated to judge Shimon favorably. Kevin Shuish Bainri, because he's a regular Jew. He's not a rush, he's not a wicked person, and therefore we're obligated to judge him in the most favorable manner possible. So he should not become shamed and disgraced in our eyes as a result of this report. However, if the report that is being said, it's impossible to find a tzad tzchus, it's impossible to find something to justify why he did what he did, and therefore it seems pretty obvious that he's guilty as charged. Mutter lahamin or lekabel, it is mutter lahamin or lekabel. You're allowed to then believe and accept the report that you hear. Now he qualifies over here in the hago. Well, because I speak in these amalei, nevertheless, you must be very careful about accepting these words of lashon hara. V'lacha b'sheva chakiros. You must investigate the matter thoroughly to make sure that im heim emes the varmani karim that if. In fact, there's this circumstantial evidence over here that it really is Devar Mani Karma, it's clear evidence. And you have to be careful with all of the conditions must be met, as we're going to explain. Now the Chavaz Chaim adds the following words, because the Yetzahara is very good at misleading people when it comes to believing Lashon Hara. And he will point out several Devarim Nikarim, things that seem pretty obvious that they're true, in order that you will believe the report that you heard, even though, in fact, they're not really Devarim Nikarim, they're not really so substantial. And then the person gets trapped in the nets of Lashon Hara. Therefore, be careful. Do not rush in to being lenient in this matter over here and believing and accepting the words of Lashon Hara that you heard that was said over in some kind of a casual and non-threatening kind of a way. And therefore, be very careful, says the Chavetz Chaim. Anytime you want to believe words of Lashon Hara, check it out again and again and again because the Yetzirah is crafty and trying to pull the wool over one's eyes to f- get them into a situation where they will believe the words of Lashon Hara and then transgress Kabbalah's Lashon Hara, accepting and believing the words of Lashon Hara that a person is not allowed to do. Have a wonderful day.